Lightfoot, Lightfoot, Ford Transit 250. I don't normally recommend 250s for van builds. I'd rather see it go to a 350 or an HD, even better. But this is what we had to work with, and she is a beauty. That's why we call her Lightfoot. This is a solo traveler. This gal is gonna travel the country extensively, uh, not full-time at first. She's going to ease into a full-time life. We built the van for full-time living. It's got all of our standard accoutrement. It's got a 630 amp hour lithium battery from Lithionics with the external BMS, which I like, I prefer that. I got a, a Victron 3000 watt inverter. I've got a Victron solar controller. We've got 400 watts of solar on the roof, two 100 watt panels here, two 100 watt panels here. I ran them in series parallel. So we get about 46, 48 volts coming down into the batteries and we see close to 30 amps of charging off the solar. I've got two Victron Orion DC to DC chargers. This van does not have a second alternator. It's got a 250 amp uh, single alternator. So we're working off of the power post on the side of the Ford seat box. That's where they put it. Uh, so we get 60 amps of charging off of that seat post. We've got another 30 amps of charging up on the roof. And of course we have shore power. The Victron uh, Multi Plus 2 can charge up to 150 amps when it's plugged into shore power. So she will not have a problem. 630 amps of lithium. We've got a Coleman NDQ air conditioner, which basically sips power at night uh, is when you need it. During the day, if you're running that air conditioner, you're running it off the solar completely. You never touch the battery. Uh, the solar takes care of all that. Uh, I think the big feature in this van is the L-shaped galley. This galley, an L-shaped galley. Look at all this countertop. It's amazing. And of course we did a hell of a job with lighting. And again, we've got curves. This client opted not to have a window here. So we put in this little vertical pantry. This is great to store bottles of olive oils and your balsamic vinegars and your Jack Daniels and your Johnny Walker and your uh, Alexander Valley Cabernets right down the line. Sink, I like to put the sink up here on the four corner, right by the window and the door. It makes things easier to work in and out when you're eating outside or working outside. We do have the Acuva 
This is UV sediment filtered water. So it comes right out of your fresh tank and you can drink it, you can cook with it. I would use this water um, to wash your hair and wash dishes and such. Our client sent us these glass tiles. And so we decided to just accent with them. Right here, we use them as a little mini splash above the actual splash of Wilson Art. And then we put a little detail up in there. This is all cherry wood. Uh, beautiful, beautiful job. We always give you at least one full bank of drawers. We've shorted the top drawers so we have room for our plumbing, right? And you know, everybody opens these drawers. They all open, of course they open. Full extension, blah, blah, blah. Induction cooker, okay? When you want to use your induction cooker, we have an outlet that pops up out of the counter. It's got USB on the top and it has two outlets. This runs off the inverter. So you can use these outlets. You can use any of these outlets in the coach at any time, off grid or when plugged in. Everything comes through the inverter, 3000 watts. I've got outlets. I've got outlets and USBs wherever you may need them, depending on where you set up to sit and do whatever work or eating or reading or re re relaxing. I have a hard time saying that word. I, I, I'm not familiar with that word, relaxing. Over the galley, we have a massive wall cabinet with sliders. I love using sliders. And of course, we felt edge them so they don't make any noise when you're driving. They have a little bit of tension to them. And we make our own little handles out of the same solid cherry we use throughout. In this cabinet here, we have a panel that comes out and we have a sub panel. This is where I put all my lighting sub panel rather than take all that extra wiring over to this panel. I run a trunk line over and everything's right there. And when you need to get to it, as you just saw, it's very simple. You just pull this panel out. It fits in the 80-20 channel. So all you do when you're done is push it back and you can get on your way. All the wall panels in the van are removable. That way, if we need to in the future, Stephanie says, you know, I'd like you to run a line. We can do it. All these panels come out. We can get all our wiring. One of the advantages of this nice big L-shaped galley, this is the return. We call this portion of it the return. Massive clothing drawers. One there and one there. Down here, this is a panel with magnets. We remove this, we remove that one crossbar at the bottom and our monster lithium battery can slide right out and be replaced or serviced. I'm sitting on this dinette box under here, the BMS and the Wabasto fuel fired heater, cabin heater. That's right, gasoline fired Wabasto heater on board. We built this van for a full time situation, triple insulated all around insulate, a polyiso foam, reflectix, everywhere. This is adorable. Look at this. There's a pantry right here for all your little canned goods and whatnots. And then we got another pantry for bigger stuff. Twins, twin pantries. Isn't that cute? We're making good use of the space. What you don't realize is that there's a bicycle that goes in the bed, underneath the bed in the garage, she's gonna house her bicycle. That bicycle pushes all the way into here. This is where that tire ends, right here. Sorry, not here, here. Right there, the back tire is right there under that galley. So we made very good use of space in this van build. Dinette. This is a lovely two-person dinette. And the primary reason for this is every once in a while, this owner is going to take her sister traveling with her. So this dinette will convert into a single bed. We built it to her height specifications. That way we didn't waste any room. We have a beautiful hutch up front. We've got our bed right behind us. And as I said, when you take this table and you swing it over here, that gives you the room you need to climb up into the bed. Wait till you see that bed, it's so cozy, so cozy. So this table's on a lagoon. This is a cherry table. 
edge banded with an epoxy coating on top. Uh, the cushions, what I do when I make a dinette like this, I size them so that you can buy your cushions anywhere. You can buy them at Home Depot. You can buy them at Frontgate. Depends on your flavor. But it's easy to swap them out, take your new pillows, change with seasons. Makes it easy. Not custom, not sewn in. You can buy these anywhere. And another thing, there's no bathroom box in this van. That's why it's so wide open. The sight lines go all the way down. I mean, we really could have a, a ballroom dance class in here. It's just amazing. No bathroom, no shower room. She does have a little baby Trellino toilet. Okay, these are so easy, so easy. Bags, you use a bag. Number one goes into a container. Number two, put a bag in there, a little bit of kitty litter or hamster bedding. Put it in a bag, not the bag, throw it away. No more black tanks, no more composting. This is the way it's gonna go, I'm telling you. It's easy. All the full timers are doing it. Way back in van number two, the Vagabond van, Irene asked if there was something we could do to give her a spot to keep her avocados. So in her van, over the doorway, in the Ram Promaster, we built her the avocado shelf. And that term has stuck. Now in every van, we provide some sort of avocado shelf. You don't have to use it for just avocados, but you could. It's a great little shelf. We've taken to putting some lighting under it. We put our switch box now at the end of the avocado shelf. And again, we've got curves in our woodworking. So there's a lot of aesthetic, a lot of little details that we paint over that we notice. So a lot of people may not even see them, but we have a lot of fun building these vans, doing just that. The switch panel controls all of our interior lighting. All the interior lighting is on dimmers. Uh, there's an outdoor porch light. And then of course, our water pump. I have a lagoon table here. You can use this as your office. You can use it as a dining table if you get tired of the dinette. Options. This is a nice place to hang out. I always say at least swivel one of the front seats. You gain all of this living space. I've got a, a reading light right here. You can put that right down on the table at night. It's nice. It's very comfortable. Look at this hutch. See how far in this table goes? It's not a coincidence. This is the Isotherm 200. It's a fridge freezer, but it's, it's like a short side-by-side. -side. It's great. It's got a lot of room on both sides. It's a great freezer, fridge freezer. It's not for everybody. Uh, some people would put this up a little higher and put work under it. Some people put a microwave over it. This gal didn't want a microwave, which is fine. I appreciate that. Got a nice sliding door cabinet up here. And on this side, we did a pretty slick job of burying that big, ugly blob. All the van platforms come with some sort of a blob up here, but the Fords are the biggest. So we've been making it our mission to do away with these blobs as best we can. In the Beast, we hid them behind the passenger headliner. In this van, we decided not to use the passenger headliner, but to try a different approach. Now, we fill them in with Bondo, sand them down, and we cover them with a fabric that matches the original factory headliner. And we can bury them in a cabinet when the opportunity allows for it. I love this hutch. I absolutely love it. And the fact that we did not come straight down with our sideboards and we created these shapes, it just adds to the open feeling and it also speaks to the curves, which is the theme in this van. So here we go again. This is our, our, our theme throughout this van is curves. So we've got these little stepped curved shelves here. I love it. This was John's inspiration. He did a beautiful job. 
beautiful job. In the bedroom area, we have a DC television, and that is on an arm, so that can pull out, so you can watch it from the dinette or while you're cooking. Further down, we have the Scirocco Caframo fan. I love those things. If you put that fan on at night, and you've got your two Max Air fans going. There's one Max Air fan back here. There's another one up front. You put one on exhaust, one on intake, right? If you bring this one down on intake and then the Caframo blows that night air onto your body, you're gonna be looking for a blanket. You're not gonna need the air conditioner. But if you do need the air conditioner, you can run it all night. 630 amps of lithium. Okay, Lithionics. This is the Coleman NDQ. Uh, it's very quiet. It's Bluetooth, so you can control it from your bed. <clears throat> but if you set that on a low-duty cycle at night, uh, you'll go right through the night. Very comfortable in this van with the air conditioner. We have the same little bookcase cubbies that we put in the Beast. Uh, we like that. So we're going to be putting that in most of our Ford Transit builds. Uh, Debbie and John... She to me, that's their YouTube channel, She to me. A lot of you probably watch that channel. We're building them a transit and we're gonna be giving them some sort of a, uh, a cubby situation up there as well. And they've got long cubbies along the sides. You'll see that build, that's coming up now. I love my power panels. I like to put this kind of an analog breaker panel in all my builds. I just think it adds a, a, a boaty feel. You feel like you're on a sailboat when you're in one of these vans. And it's beautiful. I love this. I just love the combination of this old analog breaker panel and our digital. This is the uh, Victron Serbo GX. So this controls all your battery functions, your solar. I'm waiting for them to find a way to use the Victron Orions with this panel. They don't communicate just yet, uh, but uh, we've got dining, dining lights right here on a dimmer. This is a spare. We're gonna let Stephanie go out on the road for a while and let's see what she wants. We've got spare switches and spare wires running throughout the van. She comes back and says, you know, I'd like to have, say no more. Over here, these two things, I call them spreader lights. These are high intensity LED spotlights outside, one on each side of the van, and we've got another one up front. So if Stephanie's cozy in bed reading her book and she hears a noise and she wants to see what's going on, she turns on the spreader light and looks out the window. This will light up the night. You remember in The Beast, we gave Yvonne and Danny some really slick fold down table. We did a, a lot of engineering with that, with the things over there here. We went very clean and simple. We made this adorable little cupboard. Isn't this cute? Look at this little cupboard with two little doors. So this is the back of that cabinet under the sink that I spoke about earlier. So you have full access to this shelf in here from either side. Now, when you are cooking outside, let's say, we gave you a drawer here to put all of your stuff you need for cooking, right? Then, you pull this further out and we gave you a little work table to work out here as well. So you could put a grill here. You could put your bottle of wine here. We put a little night light over here. So cute at night when you need something, you pick this up, you take it out, you put it back down. Simple. 